Hi everyone, today we're going to do a whole house clean. We're going to be starting off in my room. Do you guys have any kids? If you do, you know they love to sneak into your bed at night. I just can't share my bed. So I bring in their mattress so they can sleep in the same room as me. Can you guys sleep in the same bed as your kids? Let me know down in the comments below. Now right here I'm taking a look at the yellow blanket and I'm not sure that it matched with the rest of my set but because it's been very cold I can't risk not putting it on. Now, I really don't know what I was thinking putting that diffuser on my pillow, but it spilled all over, so now I'm just trying to dry it up. Okay, so now that I'm done taking everything off the nightstand, I'm going to clean it with a disinfectant wipe. Can you guys see all that dust? It's just too much sometimes.
I really don't know what I was showing you here, but yep, those are my slippers. My husband bought this candle. It smells so amazing. It's coconut and honey scent. We bought it from Home Goods. To finish off cleaning the room here, I'm just going to put some of this Arm & Hammer clean and fresh carpet cleaner before I vacuum.
Let's do a little recap of what the room looked like before we started. Okay, so now we are done with the first room. Let's take it all in. Now let's keep going. Honestly, I put this load in and just completely left the laundry for the next day. I was so exhausted by the time I was done cleaning the house. Okay, when I clean the living room, I like to start off by dusting off the couch. Just get all the trash off, that way it falls to the floor and I just vacuum it up. I also like to turn all the pillows or just fluff them out a little bit so they can look nice and sturdy. I don't like for them to look all sat on. I know you know what I'm talking about. So as you can see, I don't really decorate much for the holidays. I just have my tree and my two red blankets. These are my kids' presents right here. I wrapped them up after this video and I did record it. So if you want to see, just let me know in the comments below. I'll post it in a video. I know Christmas is past, but just let me know. This coffee table and dresser right here are very special. They're some of the first things my husband and I bought when we first moved into our very first apartment with our kids. They might not make it to our next house, but they're still thriving here. I'm spraying the table here with a Lysol disinfectant spray and just wiping it off with a microfiber towel.
I'm just using the same Lysol wipes I was using earlier to clean this dresser up. Here is the before of the living room. And this is the after. Okay, you know the drill? Let's soak it all in. Now to the next room. You guys saw that neat trick I did? Yep, there's another one right there. If you missed it, go back. I just folded all those towels. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now that the dishes are done, I'm going to use this Comet powder to make my sink nice and sparkly. Now to make it shine even more, I'm going to buff it out with this dry microfiber towel. Look at that shine guys. I'm going to prepare this mopping water with some lemon scented pine salt and Clorox to make the house smell fresh and disinfect as well. I didn't realize before but I'm noticing that everything I've used to clean this house is lemon scented. I just recently cleaned the stove so I'm just gonna spray it with this Lysol disinfecting spray and just give it another wipe down. That thing on the floor that looks like a stain is actually a chip on the tile. Just wanted to let you know that. Also, I guess I forgot to film a before and after of the kitchen. So I owe you that in the next video. Okay, so right here I'm just taking the dryer load and putting it in my room to fold later and also picking up the rest of the clothes and putting it back in the laundry closet.
okay so by this point i am pretty tired but i'm not done yet so let's keep going okay so moving on to the bathroom here's what it looks like before so by this time the kids are home and they think this shirt is so silly and loose they like to go under it I played with them a little but then I let them know I had to keep cleaning and they went to go play right here I'm putting some Dawn and Comet into the bowl and getting ready to clean the shower area I'm just using a yellow sponge to get the maximum suds I love cleaning with this one because it seems like the soap is just never ending and it gets you a good clean Okay, so now that I am done cleaning the tile in the bathtub, I'm going to rinse it off with some hot water. Make sure all the dirt is off. And then I'm going to grab my Lysol disinfecting spray again. And I'm just going to spray the whole tub and let it sit to disinfect. While I wait for the spray to disinfect the rest of the shower, I'm going to just pay a little more attention to the fixtures, make them sparkle a little more.
I needed some backup with this so I called my two little helpers and they ran over here to help me get everything off these shelves. Now with a Lysol wipe, I'm just wiping down the toilet and I'm also taking off the sitting chair. I'm really not sure what it's called. I thought I got it in camera, but I didn't. So I just took that off and then I kept cleaning the toilet with the Lysol wipe and I just sprayed it with the Lysol disinfectant spray to sit for 15 minutes. That way you can disinfect. Now while the outside and the floor around the toilet are disinfecting with the spray, I'm also going to use this toilet cleaner. Um, it's Lysol as well to clean the inside of the toilet. I let it sit for 15 minutes, but I just cut the clip. It looks like I wiped it right off, but I didn't. It stayed there for a while. Now I'm going to dry the toilet with this toilet paper. It's been sitting now for 15 minutes. Uh, I'm going to dry the floor as well with it. I don't own any paper towels so toilet paper just had to do the job. You can see all the dirt from behind the toilet and everything it's pretty hard to get with the mop so I just do it by hand. While I was cleaning the toilet I had put the seat in the bathtub. I rinsed it off and I cleaned it then I sprayed some disinfectant spray and by the time I was done with the toilet, it was nice and dry. And I just put it back on here. I keep washing my hands throughout this, guys. Um, it's the bathroom. I just have to do it.
okay so we're finishing up the bathroom here and I'm going to fill up my diffuser with my favorite lavender oil now this oil is not an essential oil it's more like a candle scent oil because I love candles but I can't have them around because of the kids so this is the next best thing I don't want essential oils I want candles I want to smell candles everywhere almost done I'm just going to grab a Lysol wipe and clean the outside of this trash can make sure it's all clean because the kids get little marks here and there on it I need to make sure it's clean for the next time they're gonna come and touch it while throwing something to the trash okay you know the drill Let's just soak this all in. The bathroom is finally done. We are finally in the last room of the house. Okay, my house is pretty small, but it takes a long time. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go inside the kids' room. Look at this mess. Let's go ahead and clean it. Now if you look at the window here, it's still nice and bright, it's still daylight outside, but when I was done with this room, the sun was down, I was exhausted, I needed a shower, so I just turned on the kids' night lights and I headed off to shower and relax. This is their playing corner as you can see. They have all their little stuffed animals here in the corner. Their piano, some butts. I leave a sitting pillow right here. That way they could just lay on the mat and read some books or play with their toys here. Let me just say these books on the piano were not having it today i don't know what i was thinking fixing them and then moving the piano having everything fall off again it happened like three times i'm just i'm done i guess
Our closets are pretty small, but they can hold a lot of stuff. Right here I have my kids' clothes. It's split in the middle, half for my daughter, half for my son. And then we just have the blankets in, on the left and then all of our board games on the right. On the bottom, I also have an Ikea dresser that is split between the kids for all of their pants and shirts and then next to it I have some drawers that my mom left in my house and then as you can see I have all of the kids little toys they love playing with little tiny figures so I just throw them all in there because they get out of control Right here under my son's clothes is just more of those little figures and some dollar store bins. I also have extra, an extra curtain that I just, I haven't put up on the other side of the room yet. So that's their waiting to get hung up. My son is four years old and he is potty trained, but only in the day. He still has to sleep with a diaper and the training ones just aren't gonna hold everything that comes out at night mm -mm. so I have to keep buying the regular ones or I'll wake up to a soaked <laughs> a soaked bed so I know it's a horrible placement but right above their bed I have some hanging hooks and I just keep other little backpacks that um, they have to go to grandma's house or my daughter's old school bag that she doesn't use unfortunately anymore because everything is done from home now and also their two bath towels are hung up there i haven't wanted to take it off because the other one that i had i took it off from where i had it and it literally took off some of the wall paint I'm too scared to take it off from where it's at right now. I I don't have any paint to paint it over. The manager didn't want to give me. Okay, so this little area right here is where my daughter does all her schoolwork. This is a cubicle. It's not a desk, but it is used as a desk. My daughter is a uh, first grader, so she's very small and she doesn't need that much space, but eventually I'll get her a bigger desk because it's just not big enough for both of them to sit down and work on it i'm sure many of you can understand it's a struggle trying to figure out where we're gonna get the kids to do their homework from home i just put together whatever i could and these two chairs right here are chairs that they use to eat and these cubicles were already in here for all of their toys but now they hold everything and anything that has to do with writing and coloring and papers and scissors and glue and all of that good stuff Wow, I look a hot mess. Can you see? Obviously you can see because I can see that. Look at my shirt. It's just full of Ajax and, I mean, comets and soap.
so I ran out of that Arm & Hammer carpet cleaner. So you're just gonna watch me vacuum. I know, I know, I don't know what I was thinking using it in my room when the kids room is obviously where it needs to smell good. Okay, I'm sure you've been wondering where are the kids' mattress? They wanted to play and I'm cleaning the house. So in order to prevent a big mess, I just took them out to the living room and told them to keep the mess on top of the mattresses. Let's go see if they listen. Okay, okay. Not bad. Not great, but it wasn't as big of a mess as I thought it was going to be. So here I'm putting the mattresses, well this mattress back on the bed and the kids both brought the other mattress in. It was the cutest thing ever. We have finally come to an end. My house is clean. You watched me clean it. You cleaned with me. Thank you. Welcome to my first video. If you stayed to the end, thank you so much. Let me know in the comments if you watched it till the end. Now, I'm going to leave you guys with this.